Hello, welcome back to Dad Chats 2. It's episode number seven today, which is sort of episode number 5.2, 5.1, 5.A, something like that, because we're talking to Jules again today to speak into her last summertime. Hi, Jules, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, all fine. Bit better lighting today than the last video, maybe. So maybe people yeah. can see me today. Yeah, yeah. So last time we spoke, last time we spoke, we were talking about your new sort of diagnosis that um, you, you've been diagnosed with Modi, living as a type one for like a long time. Is it like yeah. 30 years or something? 25 30 years? years. 30 years. Yeah. So a long time. And, and then suddenly you get this new diagnosis of Modi, which meant that you potentially would not need to inject or pump insulin anymore. So there's been developments. What's happened? Well, um, so the last time I spoke to you, um, the my consultant had said that um, I could, I would come, like you say I would come off insulin and I would just take this tablet um, that would make my pancreas work harder to produce more insulin um, but there was a chance that maybe I'd have to have a basal injection with it as well um, so I'd been speaking to Maggie Shepherd in Exeter um, who's who's just you know the god of all Modi knowledge and um, she said that I needed this C peptide doing um, and that blood test shows how much insulin you're actually producing. Um, and based on that, we could look at the um, dosage needed with the tablets. So I had my C peptide, and I've just got the numbers here to refer to them. Um, so Maggie explained that. Um, if your number, and I don't know what the units are, but I just know the numbers. If your number is above 600, you can come off insulin and just take tablets. Um, if it's between 400 and 600, then you'll probably need basal and tablets. Um, and if you're under 200, then you continue with insulin. So I'm thinking, okay, so I'm, I'm wanting a number between 400 and 600. Um, and that's what we were all expecting. Um, it took something like two months to get the results of this one back. It, it was horrendous. I kept chasing and chasing and nobody was getting back to me. And in the end, um, Maggie found it for me. Um, she was able to look it up. And my number had come back as 105. Um, so I am categorised as insulin deficient. So, um, which is the same as people with type one. You are insulin deficient. So, um, yeah, all my hopes and dreams were just shattered. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. So, so that so that number just means you have the 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 bare minimum of insulin going on which is it is the same as a type one and that's like, like kind of nothing going on isn't there yeah so you had you had you had all this news which was delivered to you and it, it seems like good news and almost unbelievable news that yeah. i know you questioned it a few times and we had conversations about it as well and then two months later that it seems like that's not going to happen and obviously it's not going to happen now and and you're back to where you were so how how in that time that's this we're going back to the end of last year now aren't we when you when you found that out sort of late summer end of end of the year yeah so in so in that time how how have you been feeling about it has, has it affected you yes um gutted absolutely gutted um 
So after Maggie gave me that news, um, I had an appointment with my consultant and I spoke to him about it and he was um, trying to persuade me to go uh, to try tablets and, and insulin, both basal and bolus, um, and to do it with um, injections, to go back onto injections. Um, or we could just leave it as it is. Um, so I went away and thought about that for quite a while. Um, I did take an awful lot of insulin a day, um, over 100 units a day. Um, and I thought, well, if I had a tablet, then maybe I'd have less insulin. Um, that might be a good thing. I don't know. And then I went yeah, into I a mentally downward spiral. Um, yeah, of just having my dreams shattered. My head, I, I, ha I had to deal with then taking away my lifeline of insulin after 33 years. And I had to get in the right headspace for that. And then I had to deal with this promise is not going to happen anymore. Mm. Um, there was a, a line I always remember in Blackadder, for those of you who remember Blackadder, um, where um, Edmund Blackadder was saying to, to an old witch, here's a bag of money, which I'm not going to give you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's exactly yeah. how it felt. Um, yeah. this, this is a dream. This is the nearest you'll get to a cure. You're going to be off insulin. That now. So, yeah, um, a, a complete mind melt. Yeah. You, you can use whatever mind. language you like because it's, I, it's, it's been a, a complete mind fuck. It really has. Yeah. Um, it's. I can it's imagine been, it must. It, it must have been. It must have it, it, just that example of Blackadder. And it's exactly like that. Like, oh, this is going to change my life. Thank you. No, it's not. That's not happening. Yeah. Mm. And then you've. Um, it's not like diabetes was new to you either. You must have, you must have been so comfortable, not comfortable as such, but accepting by now that type one for you is permanent, you know. And I think maybe we all get to that stage. We hope for the cures, of course, but at some stage, we I think we accept that this is not going away. And then that 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 yeah, I, I can't imagine how difficult that must have been to to deal with that that sort of disappointment and, and disappointment doesn't feel like an adequate word no. no so i wonder whether they whether they the hcps in this case could learn um based upon what's happened so what how you were told the information you were given and the, the hope that you were given to me at least i don't think it should have happened in that way do you think it could have been done better yes um my, I think my consultant didn't fully understand Modi. He said to me that he'd never had a patient who had been on insulin as long as me or who was on a pump that this happened to. So it was all, I guess, fairly new to him. Um, and if it wasn't for Maggie, um, I don't know if I'd have even had that C peptide test. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I don't think he understood it enough, and wasn't able to explain that to me. Um, Has there been conversations subsequently about what's happened? Should they have done things in a certain way? And you could you could share your views with them, feed that back? No. No, no. that hasn't. Um, I don't know if, if I would... 
I don't know if I would maybe email them um, to explain how I was, it, it made me feel. I don't know. Um, I had I, I put it off for a very long time, and I eventually went back to the consultant to tell him what I had decided to do, um, mm -hmm. and um, I decided to stay as I was. Um, why reinvent the wheel? What I'm doing now is working. Um, to just continue with it. Um, yeah. What's the point of taking less insulin? I'm still taking insulin. Um, I would just add a, another tablet to the cocktail that I'm already on. Um, and just what's the point? You know. Um, and I'll just I'll just say because Jules has MS and some other health issues as well, so she does take a lot of medication alongside insulin. So yes, another another tablet to, to... Yeah. Yeah. Um when I went back to him and I get I told him that's the way I wanted to go forward. Um I did tell him how disappointed I was to have had that result and suddenly not be able to come off insulin. Um, and I said that because of that, I I needed to focus on uh, decreasing the burden of type one because when I was going to come off insulin, um, the biggest deal for me was how much of a burden that would take off of my day-to-day -day life. That was the biggest difference that it was going to make to me. Um, so to suddenly get that back, like you say with my other health issues, it, 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 it's just too much, just too much. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And so I said to him, I want to, I'm going to carry on as I am. I'd like a new pump please, because my pump is now five years at warranty um, and um, with a view to going on closed loop as soon as I can because that's the only way I can see of reducing some of the burden. Yeah. So then we hit the whole problem of closed loop and all the work that's done on closed loop is for type 1s. Not for insulin dependent diabetics, mm. but for type ones. I'm not a type one, even though I am living a type one life. I, I'm sorry if you can just hear a noise in the background. The cat's decided to play. It's okay. With her toy. Sorry. It's um, fine. It's okay. I'm shocked that my dog hasn't started barking yet. Okay. It's okay. That happened in a minute. Okay. So, so you are living the living the life. Sounds like sounds like something fun, doesn't it? Living the life of a type one. Yeah, you are you are managing the life of, of a person in effect that has type yeah. one diabetes. Yeah. So, um, my consultant was very um, uh, supportive of the decision, um, and. But he now needs to do uh, uh, kind of put me through as a special case and has to fight my case because I'm not type one. So he's going to mm. have to, you know, go to whoever holds the money and explain why I should get one when I don't actually meet the criteria because I'm not yeah. type one. Yeah, and of course, you. It, I guess your HbA1c is going to be a little bit too good. Was your last one a, a little bit lower than the line in the sand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. So, yeah, um, so potential for multiple battles, I guess. But on the, on the positive yeah. side. Again, yes, of course. Um, on the positive side, you will get your new pump quite soon. Yeah, at the end of this month, um, I get my, um, a T-Slim. Um, 
I'm on Dex one at the moment, um, which, on a side note, is fantastic. And in my personal opinion, and from my own experience, vastly better than the Libre. And mm -hmm. I can wear it without itching. The adhesive is so much easier to live with. Um, so I've got the Dex one. Um, so obviously I would like an upgrade so that I can loop. Um, obviously new pump, I need to get used to that first, but I'm yeah. hoping, you know, in, in, a, in a couple of months I can start looking at that. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't think I'll be able to self-fund, so I am kind of relying on it. Uh, so I don't know if that happens. I think I think it seems like a logical step. You've 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 almost got what you need with um T Slim and Dex One. I mean, I use Dex One sensors, so I loop. Um so it, it it can happen. It's not it's not a huge change for you. It's not like you're suddenly going to need a new CGM and a new pump and you know, it's yeah. it's it's just a question of getting that one thing that you need funded and then you're 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 i don't know living in 2024 living the life of a type one in 2024 yes. <laughs> <laughs> well we yeah. hope don't we yeah um yeah so that, that i mean that that doesn't escape the disappointment um potentially living as a as a, a modi um but um i guess some time has passed we speak quite often so i i know how how that disappointment is there still um but potentially not as not as painful now there's some there's some sort of acceptance i think for you that that has come and gone and you still need to live your life but you need to live your best life as a type one and therefore you need the technology to do that yeah yeah. Definitely. The, the, the only silver lining that's come out of all of this is, um, is, is Dominic, my son. Um, so he, he's been tested and, and he is, he's been diagnosed as Modi. Um, can't do needles, can't do blood, well, can't do his own blood, can't do needles. Um, so testing his finger prick testing is not very good. Um, so uh, the DSN at his GP surgery, though the GP surgery are kind of like, whoa, we have no idea what this is, no idea. We'll be guided by you because Dominic, through me, has, has you know got the information. Yeah. Um, and and he's waiting for an appointment with an endo. Um, to, to go through it um, but he obviously Libre would be perfect for him because he's not going to um, faint um, so has he has he used CGMs so far has he has he yeah yeah um, I've been able to get him a, a few because when he was first diagnosed he uh, it, his head was in a mess, and um, he it, it, he works better with numbers and data. So to have the Libre on and to see what happened, and you know what eight vodka Red Bulls do to his blood sugar and stuff, you know that was all quite interesting for me. Yeah, I imagine it was. Um, so with with Dominic. He, he deals better with numbers and data. Um, so the Libre was perfect. He could see what Bait Walker Red Bulls does to his, his blood sugar. Um, although I don't think he, he, he took much notice of it on the night. Uh, <laughs> and it, he, he, it, it's helped him understand a bit more. Um, so yeah. understanding it 
leads into a bit more acceptance. Uh, emotionally, he can deal with that a bit better. So yeah. uh, that's why he, he went on Libre to begin with. Um, then they started the Glyclozide uh, tablets um, without a C-peptide. Mm. So um, I got him a Libre to wear so we could see what, what the medication was doing, how effective it was. And yeah. you can see he takes and you can see the drop down and then as it goes on. Um, you know, through the day it just creeps up again. Um, but again, yeah. he's got that visual, he's got that data and he understands it so much better. Um, so he spoke to the DSN at the GP practice and she had to speak to the pharmacist who is um, a dispensing pharmacist or something. So, so mm -hmm. he's linked to the practice and he has yeah. to say whether they can have this thing or not. So to get around the issue that we have um, with Modi that doesn't get mentioned in anything, she went to the pharmacist and said, he's, he's not a type 2, so can he have Libra? And then when they've just assumed that he's not a type 2, oh, he's not a type 1 then. Yeah, of course he can, yeah, type 1s are allowed then. Yeah, okay, I it's suppose that makes sense. Description, so thank you DSN for doing that. That's Good made a, a world of difference. Yeah, good work. So I guess, I guess in, um, in in the time that Dominic, your son, has had that news, you've had your news, and that's in the last year. Mm. That's that's a lot of diabetes going on yep. in in your life and in your family. Yeah. Um. Hopefully, that's going to settle down for for both of you. Um. I'm hoping that Dom will come on and have a chat with me. Um. Tell yeah. me how he's getting on in due course. He said that he'd be happy to, um, yeah, to have a, a, a dad chat. He'd be happy with that. Excellent. We'll, we'll we'll see how we'll see how that works out because I know I know we do a lot of type one on here with me being type one, but that's not the only diabetes. Um, and obviously, yeah. people with other types of diabetes are insulin dependent and have all sorts of issues going on as well as Dom. Dom isn't insulin dependent at the moment, but yes, hopefully. No. hopefully Having he has a... at such an early stage, he's he's living the, the, the diabetes life that I should have done. When when you should have been diagnosed as Modi decades ago. Yeah. Well, you yeah. don't have to say it like that. What, decades ago? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. A, a handful of years ago when, you. when you should have been diagnosed. Ago, yeah. With, with Modi, yeah. Okay. Well, it's been good to catch up, Jules, and at least you're smiling because I know this news hasn't been good. Um, but I, 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 like I said a few minutes ago, I'm, I'm aware that you've become accepting of of where you are now, that you are pushing for the best tech that you can get, and I think that's the case with lots of us. That we, you know, make some noise. There's there's good noises um, at the moment about where we might be over the next five years but that doesn't mean sit back and don't fight if you need that technology to make your life better to live a better life with type one don't start making noise until you get it and yeah. hopefully it'll land in your lap soon i i hope as well that there's more um recognition happens even within the nhs of uh the genetic um, types of diabetes so that things like, things like policies that are written and guidelines that are written aren't just type 1. Yeah. I think they need to maybe be more aware of the insulin dependence side of things and just mm -hmm. make sure that that's in there too because I've, I've got such a big fight on my hands now. Yeah. Um, because I don't meet the criteria. There's so many. There's so many um, nuances with the condition. It's not just black and white. You know, like yeah. as your yeah. diabetes shows, it, it's it's quite a colourful 
diabetes, isn't it, in many ways? Yeah, but, yeah. yeah but that, that just shows we can have a diagnosis and it's not quite the same as another person's diagnosis. And, you know, there's, but many people do need now. this tech. This is my third diagnosis because when I was 18, I was diagnosed as type 2. And then I was diagnosed as re-diagnosed as type 1 a few years later. And now <laughs> I've been re-diagnosed as Modi. So, wow. So you've, you've kind of had all. all yeah. We've had a good splatter uh, of diabetes. Yeah. I guess you, you know, gestational could come later. And you, you've, just, you just, no, you've just gone no. with, with those for the time being. So, you know, well, you, you never know, do you? Never say never. So, <laughs> I'm kidding. As if my mind wasn't already in a mess. The thought of that just makes it worse. We'll, we'll, we'd be doing an interview if that happened, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's, I think, enough for today. Um, that'll be episode seven or five A or something. You'll find out. It'll be in the little thing. There's going to be some links going along the top and some links going along the bottom, and that's to Jules's stuff and to some of my stuff. And if you like the video, which of course you did, you're going to tap the like button. Don't smash it. You'll damage your device. Just tap it. Just a gentle tap. And then the same with that bell icon. You see that bell icon? Yeah, you do. Tap it. That doesn't make you a bell end. Just tap that gently. <laughs> that means you'll get a notification when there's a new video. And that means you can sub to the channel as well. And you'll never miss any of these on videos in future. Okay. Thank you so much, Jules. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you for having me on. And we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.